Breastfeeding is very important to minimize your risk of developing breast cancer. But I didn't say your boyfriend should be there dragging it every minute. Welcome. Today we're going to talk about prevention of breast cancer and obviously explain the steps of breast self-examination. I know you've heard a lot about breast cancer, but do you know that it's the most common invasive cancer in women, which has killed over 400,000 women in 2008 and over 600,000 in 2020. And also in 2020, 2.3 million females were diagnosed of breast cancer, and it is because we don't take precautions very serious. Jesus Christ! If you could just listen to me, I'll give you tips in which you would use to prevent breast cancer or minimize your risks of having breast cancer. But before I continue, hit the subscribe button and share this video. First one is exercise. And you might ask, how does exercise relate to breast cancer, right? There are two hormones that fuels or helps breast cancer growth, which is estrogen and insulin. So regular exercise helps to regulate these hormones in your body. Please eat healthy. Lots of fruits, lots of vegetables. It's very necessary for your body. And you don't have to take red meat. Or if you take it, you have to minimize it. They contain lots of carcinogens. They can cause cancer. Instead of taking loads of alcohol, take water. It's very essential. Minimize alcohol because they increase your risk of having cancer. Breastfeeding is very important to minimize your risk of developing breast cancer. But I didn't say your boyfriend should be there dragging it every minute. It's for those that have given birth and those that are married. Minimize the way you take birth control pills and also hormonal replacement therapies for those at menopausal ages. Then you see smoking, you have to minimize it because it releases over 5,000 chemicals which can cause over 15 types of cancer of which breast cancer is one of them. So stop smoking. Then you have to find out your family history about cancer. If anyone in your family has ever had cancer, you have to take these precautions seriously. And lastly, breast self-examination. Actually, it does not prevent breast cancer, but it will help dictate and diagnose early breast cancers. And research studies have shown that those that were diagnosed early of breast cancer can survive within 5 to 10 years with the disease than those that were diagnosed late. So I'm going to display the steps in which you can carry out this breast self-examination on your own. There are three steps involved in breast self-examination. First, you have to do it in front of a mirror standing up. Then the next one, you have to do it lying down facing up. Then the last one, you have to do it in the shower. The first one, you have to go in front of a mirror. You have to go naked. Yes, go naked. Stand in front of a mirror. Use your two hands on your waist. Look at the mirror, leaving your breast dangling. As you're looking into the mirror and seeing yourself, you're checking out for one, redness, you're checking out for rashes, you're checking out if your nipple is inward instead of sticking out. You're also checking for the nipple position if it has changed position to another angle. Do you understand? You're not there to admire yourself. Next thing is to lift your hands up this way. Check for the same changes that you did in step one. Also look at the nipples for any discharge, any watery discharge, milky discharge, bloody discharge on both nipples as your hands are raised. The next step, you have to lie down, get a pillow, lie down, face front. One of your hands should be at the back of your head this way. Now use the free hand to check, to palpate the breast and the nipple. Parting from the nipple, you have to go in a circular motion around the breast. You can go as far as the collarbone, go down to the armpit and come back. You are checking out for lumps in the breast. Now you don't have to press too hard, but make sure you're feeling every part of your breast to check out for lumps. When you're done, you can exchange, turn to the, the other side, use your left hand at the back of your head and feel with your right hand. Same thing. Then you have to go to the shower. Sometimes the best way you can feel your breast, every part of it, is when your body is wet or slippery. So when your body is wet in the bedroom, you have to lift one of your hands. Use the free hand to feel the breast in a circular motion just the same way you did when you were lying down. You have to repeat the same process for the other breast. Do it, lift your hands and feel. Now remember you are checking out for any lump, any mass, any hardness, even pain in your breast. Now if you feel any lumps, don't panic. Yes, don't panic. Most times they could be non-cancerous breast lumps. So this is where you book an appointment with your doctor to carry out further tests. In your breast and that is how we do breast self-examination most of you might ask when is it better or good to carry out a breast self-examination it's usually good to do it the week after your menstruation stops there are so many hormonal changes that happen during your menstruation which could affect your breast size or breast tenderness and you feel you have a lump on your breast so to go back familiarize yourself on how to do breast self-examination 
you can write them down and also remember to do it at least once in a month. So with all this, you can reduce your risk of developing breast cancer. If you have any questions, just drop a comment, okay? Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you.